hello everyone this is a money collector and we have here the series of the uh, Philippine coinage English series of 1958 to 1966 and we have here the 50 cents the 25 cents the 10 cents the 5 cents and the 1 cent and uh, 1958 centavo uh, notes was uh, replaced uh, because uh, the 1958 uh, centavos um, is uh, made of paper and uh, it was after the war the world war ii they called it the emergency notes and uh, as you know uh, paper currency is easily been damaged if you put it on fire or water that is why they decided to replace the <coughs> currencies and one of our friends here in YouTube who is uh, collecting uh, uh, World War II coins and banknotes he has a lot of uh, emergency notes from Philippines and he is a American uh, uh, coin collector and uh, currency collector and now planning to make a I don't know a history about his life I don't know and he collect uh, lots of uh, currency notes and those currency notes were replaced by these coins and uh, this is under the central bank of the Philippines you know uh, central bank was uh, introduced uh, around the world of the United States and uh, the 1958 Tavo notes uh, uh, was being discontinued and replaced by these coins and um, it is consisting of the one centavos this one here a tiny little one the five cents the ten cents the twenty five cents and the fifty cents and uh, the one cent is a a bronze coin a tiny little bronze coin a very beautiful coin and uh, the five centavos were a brass as you can see it is a brass coin um, the purity of this brass coin is maybe 95%, 99% and uh, the three of these uh, coins, so the 10 cents, the 25 cents and the 50 cents are made of uh, nickel brass as you can see, it look like more nickel and uh, this was discontinued uh, on 1979 and um, it was demonetized but uh, this uh, 10 centavo uh, continued to circulate on the circulation until 1998 and so far one of the most uh, used coin in the uh, Philippines uh, spanning how many years um, 40 years I think from 1958 to 1998 so 40 years and uh, this was discontinued on January 2 1998 and uh, they made a lot of this uh, less than 400 million pieces I think 10 million from 1958 and uh, 1960s um, something 50 million and so on as the population grow they also reproduce a lot of this and uh, as you can see we have a lot of these uh, coins and uh, it's not only the 
coins is uh, made of uh, uh, beautiful uh, metal the metal composition of this uh, and the purity is still in good uh, compared to compared to the newest coins of the philippines and uh, i also have the complete coin set of this uh, 10 cents and i had a lot i had a lot of this as you can see this is the philippine republic english series coins 1958 to 1966 10 centavos uh, we have here the 1958 the 1960, the 62, the 63, 64, and the 66. And uh, I also have the complete uh, set of this uh, 25 cents from 1958 until 1966. If you are uh, outside Philippines, you must uh, collect this. Uh, it has a standing lady with a volcano on its background the same on the 50 cents the difference here is uh, only the size and also the uh, 10 cents and a lot of uh, South American and Latin countries collecting these coins and uh, not only because uh, this coin was uh, used but this design was already in uh, Philippines since 1902 or 1903, I think. The old uh, Philippine peso and the centavos. And uh, I don't know why uh, local uh, coin collectors, coin sellers, the, didn't uh, or they do not uh, sell or collect these uh, coins. I don't know. But for me, the significance of this is uh, very high uh, by it uh, by its history, since this is the, the new age of the coins in Philippines. Before this, the coins in Philippines are mostly uh, silvers, and was introduced by the uh, Spanish and the Americans, and uh, after the World War II. The defeat of uh, Japan, uh, United States uh, Central Bank started introducing these uh, uh, currencies, coins, and a few of these are in a very very good condition in, in uncirculated, and uh, AU almost uncirculated, BU barely circulated, and uh, I have here also the some of these are uh, just like this it has like, a very good patina in here uh, meaning this coin has be, has not been touched uh, and that is why you must not uh, clean your coins uh, so go to uh, preserve the the original state of these coins and uh, this is not dirty coin it is a coin that never been touched that is why the patina or the natural uh, mineralization were formed on these coins and it cannot be eaten by a rust because this is a, a bronze coins and a very uh, beautiful coins way back then on 1980s we used to play these coins um, as a bet on a, in a, ch a child's play of a card or a street game and uh, we also have these uh, <coughs> brass coins uh, five cents as you can see here I know I have a complete coin set of this but you know this is one of my hardest uh, coin to be completed so far and we have here the 1960 this is a clean coin in 1964 we have uh, 1962 another 64 and we have a uh, few circulated and uncirculated coins just like this one this is a, a uh, very fine uh, condition coin it is uncleaned and same with this the pearl outside of this and the details is very very good and I will uh, put them on a coin flip folder 
and this one is recirculated but in still in a very good condition and this one is also a a AU condition but the face is already erased but the reverse is in a very good condition and this one is I cleaned the brass coin this also have another here a very very good condition coin I don't know local uh, collectors don't collect this I have no idea why I think they see this as a non-significant coin or a non-value coin but for me the history behind these coins is a very very significant <coughs> excuse me I had a little cold because of the weather and uh, next we have here the 10 cents I had a lot of this maybe 10,000 pieces of this I don't know why I acquire or I have a lot of this maybe because I hunt for a error of the coins and I happen to collect and accumulate a lot of this and uh, I had a complete series already of this coin from 1958 to 1966 I am not kidding if I say I had a lot of this so because we cannot put all of them on the table because uh, they are ranging from uh, 5 to 10 thousand pieces of this and I only uh, ask this from neighbors and friends families I can show you a few of this. You see, I cannot count uh, this. Maybe uh, 700 of this. I only pick uh, very fine or uh, uncirculated the coin from this uh, bunch. And uh, after I finish, I just uh, put them back. And we also have this uh, uh, 25 cents, uh, 1966, another 66, a 1962, and this one is uncirculated, uh, 1964. I don't know where did I get this, but the details of this is very, very good. See? But this is a unclean coin the bus the less standing lady same here on uh, reverse another uh, 1966 66 these are in a uh, fine and good condition extra fine this one uh, it says a uh, very good and this is maybe own personal collection and another 1966 uncleaned as you can see there is a little uh, dirt here uh, we had a lot of this maybe I may four of these is equals to one peso so eight is two peso three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten peso and fifty centavos. And it's a lot of, uh, and the sound of this is a uh, music to my ears. And I see on uh, some neighbors and the uh, farmers, they used to pinch this and make a hole on the coin and make it as a necklace for their uh, uh, cattles that so that their uh, cattle if uh, wander anywhere or will roam they will find their cattle because it makes a a music or a sound and uh, for me it's a 
vandalism or uh, cruelty to coins but uh, we can do nothing of that because uh, as we see it is already uncirculated and uh, don't know and this one is a very very heavy coins because this is a a thick and uh, large coin and the music of this also and uh, that's it this is our uh, uh, 1958 to 1966 english series coins because uh, i said english series coins because after this after they they discontinued and demonetized all these uh, english series they replaced this with the Filipino series or the local uh, series just like this one this is a, a 1972 Filipino series it says so it's a local so that's it uh, that, this is our Cohen collection for today and uh, thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel share this on your social media Facebook and uh, Twitter and don't forget to comment on this video and thank you for watching and see you on our next videos thank you